I'm Michelle Sullivan with Global Medical News Network. The use of clot-busting drugs in patients who present with mild stroke could save thousands from stroke-related disability and save over $200 million each year in associated health care costs. That's according to an epidemiologic study presented here at the International Stroke Conference. We do not have studies that have clearly established that clot-busting agents are indeed effective for the mildest strokes. We used our Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky, Kentucky Epidemiologic Cohort to estimate how many mild strokes are there in the United States that arrive early. And if we did indeed have a treatment for them, how many fewer disabled patients would there be? In 2005, 441 patients in the database were treated for ischemic stroke. Of these, 247 were considered mild and 150 were eligible to receive TPA treatment. But only 4, 1% of the entire population, received the clot-busting drug. When Dr. Khatri extrapolated these numbers to the entire U.S. population, she estimated that more than 43,000 mild strokes eligible for treatment occurred in 2010. If all 27,000 patients without a baseline disability had received TPA, the drug could have prevented disability in up to 3,800 patients. And so basically we end up making treatment decisions on a case-by-case basis. We know that the far majority of patients are not treated with minor strokes. Uh, If we just very conservatively estimate that uh, these patients would all have a moderate amount of disability with a lifetime cost of that disability of $100,000, we're talking $200 million less expenditure after uh, for disability after mild ischemic stroke. Because there are no current clinical guidelines on treating mild stroke patients, Dr. Khatri has planned a randomized study to assess the effect of TPA treatment. We've been developing a trial, and we're seeking NIH funding for it. It'll be a phase three trial where we randomize patients to both placebo and, or with either placebo or TPA. And regardless of what we find, we'll learn a ton more about who these mild stroke patients are and what leads to their disability. A study like this will provide important information about this group of patients, said Dr. Stephen Greenberg, a professor of neurology at Harvard University. Right now, we don't have all the data that we would want, but I think the weight of the argument is that we probably should be more aggressive in this group. One of the conclusions from uh, Dr. Khatri was that uh, uh, more studies in this area would would, would help us uh, make those decisions on, on firmer footing. In Los Angeles, this is Michelle Sullivan for Global Medical News Network.